Hey kids, my name is David A. Litton. I'm the Fine Arts Director for Williamson County Schools. Uh, it's my job to help your teachers be the best they can be. And I think we've got some great music teachers in Williamson County. And they've worked together to put together some videos for you. And so I'd like to show you how these videos relate to the district resource site that you see in your other subjects. So let's take a trip over to the resource site and take a look. So we're looking here at the third, fourth, and fifth grade music choice board. The K through two board looks very similar. So I know that there's a video in this uh, series about symbol composition, using symbols that you might see on a keyboard or on your screen as uh, a method of coming up with your own musical compositions. Well, that's one of the choices here on the choice board. So these things relate to, these choices here, relate to the videos that you're gonna see that our teachers have created. So that's how the resource site and these videos all work together. And we hope that you and your parents We'll spend some time on this and have a great time working on these arts projects. Hello students, this is Mrs. Banster from Clovercroft Elementary. First, find a broom or a long stick. But wait, give the floor a sweep. Your family will thank you for it. Next, place the broomstick between two chairs and limbo to the limbo rock. How low can you go? I hope you have an amazing time limboing with your family. Bye. Hey everybody, let's play freeze dance. All you need is your favorite song and a family member to play with. But remember, when the music stops, you have to freeze and be as still as a statue. Let's play. Hit it, maestro. Looks like you beat me this time. Have fun, everyone. Soon as Miss Beth here to share about the movement isolation dance. Can you move just one part of your body to the beat of the music? I bet you can, so come on now. Let's try it together. Select a song that makes you happy, and when the music begins, choose to clap, pat, tap the steady beat on or with just one part of your body for eight beats, and then make a change. Now let's turn on some music and move to the beat. And remember, music is life. That's why our hearts have beats. Okay, guys, we're going to do a hand washing choreography. You need to use the tops and inside of your hands, the insides of your hands, scrub them really good, get your thumbs. So you could mix them all up. Get the thumbs, get the thumbs, inside, inside, get the fingers, get the tops, and then add some music and you have your choreography. Hi, this is Miss Hall from Creekside Elementary School, and I wanted to remind you that you don't actually have to have real instruments at home to make music. That's right. Remember, an instrument is any object that makes a sound. So today, why don't you go on a percussion safari? Remember, a percussion instrument is any instrument that you can hit, any instrument that you can shake, and any instrument that you can scrape. Happy hunting! Hi students, I want to show you a fun website that you can visit to learn more about classical music and classical composers. The website is called classicsforkids.com. When you first get to this site, you will see a featured composer of the week. This week it's Antonio Vivaldi. If you have a composer in mind that you want to look up, you can go to the composer tab and click on that and look them up alphabetically right here. Um, and then that you can listen to short radio shows or listen to music by that composer. Um, and then there are also fun games to play on the website and there's some activity sheets that you can print up and explore as well. Hello, Williamson County students. This is Ms. Yerger from Winstead Elementary. Here is part two of classicsforkids.com and please see part one. If you go to games tab, awesome games, really fun for you to use. There is one for those people who like to use those word games. Here's the lines and the spaces. Here's one for those drummers, match the rhythm. Here's one of my favorites too, compose your own piece and you get to hear it back. Also instruments of the orchestra and two about the composers. On the parents tab, parents, you can help support your child with a lot more resources of her music and ideas. 
For this, I'm going to move like different animals at different speeds and use fancy music words to describe how fast or slow they are. I'm going to start off slow, like a slow. Lark. Or andante, like a dog, which means walking. Or fast, like a trinity tiger. Let's go! Hey everyone, this is Mr. King, and I'm the music teacher out at Hillsborough School. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to utilize the Chrome Music Lab. So first thing you're going to do, go to Google, and the easiest way to find it is just to type in Chrome Music Lab. It's going to be the first response here. Click on Chrome Music Lab, and it takes you to this website that has all kinds of awesome activities for you to check out and I invite you to experiment and see what all can be done with Chrome Music Lab. Hi, I'm Leslie Varden of Thompson Station Elementary. I'm going to work with a couple of other Williamson County music teachers to show you how you can write your very own song at home. Did you know that writing a song can be as easy as one, two, three? We're going to write a spring song today and we're going to use a form called haiku. It's a Japanese poem with 17 syllables in three lines. Think of some words that remind you of spring, and then figure out how many syllables each word gets. Here are some words that reminded me of springtime, so I just arranged and rearranged them into different orders, thinking about the number of syllables that each word got until I created an order that I really liked. Now it's time to send my poem off to Miss DeVoe of Longview so she can add the melody. Thanks, Ms. Barton, for the spring poem. Hi, I'm Ms. DeVoe, and we are going to write a melody using the musical alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A melody is a line of notes that move up or down or repeat. So, as you can see, I've written a short melody to go with Ms. Barton's spring poem. Have fun writing. You can do it. Next, we're going to send it to my music friend in Grassland, Miss Summy. Hi, boys and girls. I'm waiting on a special delivery. Whoa, what is this? Oh, a spring song from Mrs. Varden and Mrs. DeVoe. I'm going to play it on my piano. Spring rain umbrellas. Warm weather, sunshine flowers. A foot down a chew. A chew. Hi students, this is a game that you can play with your friends and family. You can even Zoom call your grandparents and play it with them over the computer. All you do is hum a tune and they'll guess the tune. For example, <laughs> Can you name that tune? You guessed it, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here's another one. <laughs> Have fun making music with your family. Hi, here's an idea for rhythm composition, where you create rhythm with objects from home. Use lines to represent beats. Find some small objects, something like buttons or coins or game pieces or stickers. Place them on the lines and speak them in rhythm. Nickel dime, nickel dime, copper penny, copper penny, nickel dime. Find a way to perform it. or even drum it. What can you compose? Here's a fun way to compose using body percussion. Cut out the pictures on the bottom. Each gets one beat and place them in the empty squares. Then perform the actions in order. Here's a four beat example. Stomp, pat, snap, snap, clap. You can also draw your own grid just like this and write your actions. Want a challenge? Choose a line to perform and have a family member choose another line. See if you can perform your two lines together at the same time in a duet. Ready to take it to the next level? Here's my friend Miss Skates from Kenrose Elementary. Thanks, Ms. DeLong. You can level up your musical composition simply by adding instruments. I found all of these instruments in my very own kitchen. Remember, a percussion instrument is anything that you can hit, shake, or scrape. Did you hear the different timbre or quality of sound of each of my three instruments? Bonus points. You can add pitch to your composition if you remember one simple rule. 
the bigger something else. The deeper the pitch. The smaller something is, the higher the pitch. Hit it, Miss Smallwood. Thanks, Miss Skates. Miss Smallwood here from Jordan Elementary. Now that you've got your instruments, it's time to play. Check out this improvisation with things I found in my kitchen. Have fun, guys. Hello, did you know that you could turn a grocery list into music? Simply count out the syllables, and every syllable gets its own music rhythm note, just like this. For my older grade levels, you can add a time signature and measures. You can make a full pattern to have some extra fun, give a pattern to someone else in your family, do them together as an ostinato like this. Ready, go. Hi, boys and girls. I'm gonna demonstrate for you one of the choices on the kindergarten through second grade music choice board. It's called Cozy Concert. And what you do is you find some cozy clothes, like your pajamas, and you find all your friends, your stuffed animals, and you perform for them. I'm gonna perform something for you now. This is Miss Stone from Crockett Elementary School. Today I'm going to show you how to conduct music groups by two. You go down for one, up for count two. One, two, one, two, just like that. When the music is quiet, you do small motions. When the music is louder, you do larger motions. Make sure you check out your resources to see what songs we suggest you conduct to. Hi, it's Mr. Senate from Scales, and so is he. We're gonna show you how to conduct in three, like this. Really, conducting is about musicians following you, not you following them. So, go to your family and make them sing happy birthday to you. Just start on beat three like this. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Go and do it today, even if it's not your birthday. Okay, here's some great things you can do to help keep your voice in shape. Some vocal exploration. Copy me. Ooh. Hi, I'm Mrs. McClanahan from Westwood and I'm here to show you how easy it is to create your own compositions. You can print the form from the Music Choice Board resources or draw your own. You can practice drawing your notes with or without note heads draw your own pictures, or cut and paste pictures to create your composition. In some of my examples, I chose to also practice my writing skills by adding words with my patterns. So start with a notebook or individual pieces of paper. Be creative. Use your music, art, math, and writing skills and compose, compose, compose. Let's keep a beat and say the words to engine, engine number nine. Ready? Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. What's the rhythm? How many words did I say for engine? Let's see. Engine, engine. Two words. Those are eighth notes. Number. Those are eighth notes too. Engine, engine number nine. Let's try going down Chicago line. Here's the answer. Now you try the rest of the rhyme. Hello, Williamson County students. This is Mrs. Hicks. I'm the music teacher at College Grove Elementary School. I'm going to talk to you this morning about rhyme time. You can take a nursery rhyme book and pick out your favorite rhyme and clap how the words go. 
to create a rhythm with your rhyme. And this is how you do it. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hi, this is Mrs. Baker from Clovercroft Elementary School. And today I'm going to show you how to do symbol composition. First, you'll need to choose some symbols like hearts or stars, then assign a sound to it. It could be a found sound like a pot, body percussion like clapping, or an instrument you have at home. Then create a pattern with your symbols and play. Here is an example. Have fun! Hello, Williamson County Music Makers. My name is Mr. Andrew Lonis. I'm from Lipscomb Elementary, and I have a question for you. If you were going to design and develop your own brand new musical instrument, what would it look like? What would it sound like? How would you play it? What musical instrument family would it belong to? Well, these are all very good questions, and here's Mr. Bell from Fairview Elementary to show you how he might go about answering them. Thanks, Mr. A. I'm Mr. Bell, and here's my whatchamacallit. I decided to make a keyboard instrument, and because my last name is Bell, I wanted there to be bells in my instrument. When you push down the keys, a string pulls the bell and makes the clapper inside the bell hit the side of the bell. Because there is hitting in my instrument, it's part of the percussion family. But your instrument could be part of the strings family, the brass family, or the woodwinds family, or a combination of all of them. Hey boys and girls, my name is Mr. B from Perry Creek Elementary. I'm also representing Mrs. Ham today as well. Um, today we're going to learn how to make our very own kitchen percussion instruments. We know percussion instruments are instruments that you play by either striking, shaking, or scraping them. So you need to go in your parents' pantry, try to find a little round container, and strike. You just hit it. That's pretty easy. You can find something like this, some oats maybe. Next, to shake, Get an empty jar. You can use either beans, rice, or seeds. Fill the jar like so. Put the lid on it. Make sure it's good. Be careful. And shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then finally scrape. Get an empty soup container. Take off the label. Get a spoon. Oh yeah, you like that scrape? It's like a, a weir up, huh? Anyways, that is do-it-yourself kitchen percussion with Mr. B. Hey, Allendale Alligators, Miss Morford here with Movement Astonado Time. Now, an astonado is a short repeated pattern. So you're going to choose your favorite song. You're going to figure out if it's in a meter of two, three, or four beats in a measure. Choose your body percussion movements. Got a few here on the screen for you to choose from or create your own dance steps. It's up to you. Then put them in order. You might want to write them down. Press play and have fun dancing to your Movement Astonado.